Today, we're diving into the life of actress Ruth Warwick. Which of her works resonates with you the most? Or perhaps you're curious about lesser known facts or anecdotes about her. Share your cherished memories or experiences with this classic star in the comments below. And stick around because we've got some funny, shocking, and sad facts coming up. Keep watching this video for more. Delving into the world of classic cinema and television, there's a notable figure whose talent left a lasting mark. Recognized for her captivating performances, she showcased her acting prowess in a variety of memorable roles. One standout appearance was in a renowned film directed by Orson Welles, where she portrayed a significant character in the protagonist's life. This movie is often celebrated as a cinematic masterpiece and is highly recommended for anyone interested in the history of film. Additionally, she gained acclaim for her role in a long-running soap opera where she brought to life a manipulative and wealthy character, earning her widespread recognition and award nominations. Whether experiencing her work on the big screen or the small screen, her performances are sure to captivate audiences and leave a lasting impression. Embarking on a journey in the world of acting, she faced hurdles but never gave up. Despite being denied a role in her high school play, she pursued her passion relentlessly. Over time, she starred in various movies and TV shows showcasing her talent. One notable film she appeared in was directed by someone else, where she played the character of Mistress Stephanie Graham. Later, she shared about her romantic relationship with Anthony Quinn during the filming of China Sky in the 1980s. Her experiences in the entertainment industry, filled with ups and downs, highlight her resilience and determination. Her story serves as an inspiration, showing that with hard work and perseverance, dreams can indeed come true. With a passion for theater ignited in her teens, Ruth Warwick embarked on an acting journey that defined her life. Juggling her roles on stage with the joys of motherhood, she left an indelible mark on both the small and big screens. As the iconic character Phoebe Tyler Wallingford, she shaped the storyline of a beloved TV show, captivating audiences with her talent and presence. From Broadway to Hollywood, her performances resonated deeply, drawing viewers into the world she created. Beyond her acting, she dedicated herself to various charitable causes, using her influence for positive change. Her legacy of grace, talent, and compassion continues to inspire, a reminder of the impact one person can have on others. In the realm of entertainment, many individuals face unseen battles. One such person, known for both Hollywood and Broadway, encountered significant challenges in life including struggles with mental health. Throughout their journey, they battled shadows of depression and anxiety, which affected both personal and professional life. Despite success in their career, they grappled with inner demons that often threatened to overshadow their achievements. In the face of adversity, this individual showed resilience, becoming an inspiration for others facing similar struggles. Their story highlights the importance of mental health awareness and the need for support when confronting such difficulties. It serves as a reminder that everyone faces internal battles regardless of outward success. Their ability to persevere not only demonstrates strength, but also encourages others facing challenges. Their experiences offer valuable lessons about balancing personal well-being with professional success. By celebrating their triumphs and acknowledging their struggles, we recognize the complexity of every individual's journey. Ultimately, this person's narrative goes beyond fame, leaving a lasting impact that reminds us of the human spirit's resilience. Their story becomes a poignant chapter in mental health awareness, emphasizing compassion and empathy. Ruth Warwick had an impressive memory like a superpower brain. She could remember things really well, almost like a super advanced computer. But her memory wasn't the only cool thing about her life. She was actually cousins with another actress, Mimi Kennedy. They were family and both into showbiz. Ruth got into the TV show All My Children in 1970 and stuck around for a whopping 35 years. People loved her on the show. She became a big part of why it was so popular. Even though she passed away on January 15, 2005, her impact on the entertainment world didn't fade. Her memory, family ties, and her character on All My Children make her a big deal in TV history. She showed that if you're talented, work hard, and leave a lasting impression on people, you can be remembered even after you're gone. In the world of television dramas, bonds formed on set often last a lifetime. Back in 1956, a chance meeting between two actors sparked a friendship that endured for nearly half a century. One actor, who played the sister of a soap opera star, formed a special connection with her colleague. This friendship continued until the star's passing in 2005. In 2001, during a vacation in Greece, this actor suffered an injury that confined them to a wheelchair. 
As a result, their role on a popular TV show had to be scaled back. Despite this setback, their dedication to their craft remained steadfast. Colleagues admired their commitment, noting how they would often work long hours on set, only to attend charity events and return the next day. Despite facing health challenges, this actor's dedication to their work and charitable efforts left a lasting impression on those around them. Their enduring friendship with a fellow actor and their unwavering commitment to both their on-screen roles and philanthropic endeavors serve as a testament to their resilience and passion for the industry. In the realm of entertainment, a notable figure has left a lasting impact through her portrayal of Phoebe Tyler Wallingford in All My Children. Explored in depth through two books, All Her Children by Dan Wakefield and The Confessions of Phoebe Tyler penned by the actress herself, this character has become a significant part of television history. Before achieving success as an actress, the journey began in a radio show in Kansas City, Missouri, broadcasted on CBS. Interestingly, her foray into soap operas didn't start with Guiding Light in 1952. Surprisingly, she had been part of radio soap operas since childhood, revealing an early passion for the craft. Her early radio experience laid the foundation for later accomplishments in television, making her a seasoned professional in the field. From a radio show in Kansas City to the memorable character of Phoebe Tyler Wallingford in All My Children, this journey showcases versatility and longevity in the entertainment industry. From the humble beginnings on the airwaves to becoming a fixture in television, this artist's evolution is a testament to dedication and passion. The narrative unfolds seamlessly, highlighting the actress's transition from radio to the iconic role that became synonymous with her name. Known for her dedication to education, she actively participated in various initiatives, such as the League School in Walpole, Massachusetts, where she supported autistic children. Additionally, she lent her expertise to Operation Bootstrap in Los Angeles, a program aiding impoverished neighborhoods with teacher provision. Notably, she engaged in Jimmy Carter's Cities and Schools program. During World War II, she contributed extensively, undertaking hospital tours, performing and memorizing songs for camp shows. Warwick, a Democrat, collaborated with administrations from Roosevelt to Carter on labor and education matters. Despite differences, she expressed gratitude to Carter post-1980 election defeat, receiving a response suggesting her potential as a speechwriter. Her political views often clashed with her role in All My Children, where her character stance on the Vietnam War conflicted with her personal beliefs.